hundreds of new train services will be added to the network from tomorrow when a long-awaited new timetable takes effect. As Andrew Lunn tells us, it will mean huge changes for thousands of passengers in the city loop. The VicRail chairman flagged the first passenger train into the museum station just two minutes late. Open to passengers 40 years ago this week, the City Loop tunnels came with a unique quirk. Effectively, they designed it so that trains changed direction at the middle of the day. The two-way tunnels allowed trains to run through the loop to Flinders Street in the morning before being stabled at the Jollymont rail yards and then returning back through the loop for the evening peak. But even though the rail yards are long gone, the sometimes confusing timetable remains. Some trains run uh, one way in the morning, another way in the afternoon. If you happen to try and catch a train at lunchtime, there might be a gap between services while they're reversing it. It can be different again on weekends. But as new and longer high-capacity evolution trains are rolled out on the network, the City Loop is evolving. This is the biggest change since the City Loop opened in the early 1980s and it's a great change. From tomorrow, the Pakenham and Cranbourne lines will run anti-clockwise all day, while Frankston trains will be taken out of the loop and run direct to Flinders Street and Southern Cross. The shift is designed to complement the Mernda and Hurstbridge lines, which have run clockwise since 2008. The changes mean that for the first time you'll be able to catch the train in either direction between Spring Street and Spencer Street at any point in the day seven days a week. It's hoped the tweak will also improve reliability. We talk about turn up and go. There are some parts of the Melbourne train network that are turn up and go as we speak, but we want to broaden that. The Public Transport Users Association now wants the government to consider making the two tunnels serving northern and eastern suburbs trains one way too. It's been 40 years so far to get uh, two, two loop tunnels consistent. Hopefully it won't be uh, another 40 uh, to get the other two uh, running consistently. And with passengers slowly returning to the network, transport planners say they'll have time to adjust without the crowds. It does help that it gives us time and it gives passengers time as they come back to the network to get used to the new changes. Andrew Lund, Nine News.